Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello. How are you all? Hi. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give it a second and then we're going to get started. See if anybody jumps on. Just going to grab a card as well. Eaglehawk in Bendigo, Victoria, and you can find us online. All the details are in the description or all over our Facebook page. Um, so today, last week, we painted this suitcase. So we painted it with Pure Eco Chalk Finish Cloud, and it's since then I've done a further two coats. Um, the third coat really could have just been touch-ups, but I just decided to do an all-over coat yesterday. So now it's looking really pretty, really great coverage. The whole thing's gorgeous. Um, and then yesterday as well, I, well, the last couple of days, I've lined the inside as well. So I have this beautiful, let me bring you closer. <laughs> I think that's easier. Uh, oops. So this is fabric. And I've just decoupaged or glued this lemon fabric and then this really pretty blue the blue flowers, watercolour flowers. So I didn't, originally it was all going to be lemons, but, and kindly donated by my mum and her massive stash of fabric, but it was about 30 centimetres too small to do all of the lid as well. So I very quickly popped to spotlight last night. This one's still in there. This one's an old design, but the flowers are still in spotlight. It was $10 a metre on clearance. I know our store had heaps, but if you like it, definitely go and have a look. I've got enough left over to do a couple of drawers or something with later on, because I really, really like it. So I'm glad that I got extra. So it's all been done. I have, last night, I went to Spotlight again, like it's what I seem to do at the moment, go to stores multiple times in the same day. I um, got some ribbon just to finish off the inside. I thought of the finishing edge after I'd already finished it, so hindsight's a beautiful thing, but I have got some ribbon that I'm just going to glue around this very edge just to tidy it up and make it look a bit nicer. It's not for sale, it is, um, this is a display piece for here in the studio, but I still want it to look nice. So, today we're going to be applying a redesign with primer transfer. So these, I stocked these three years ago, four years ago, back when I was first starting. Actually, I think I had them the first year. Um, and back then, I sort of got a bit carried away and I was stocking everything. Okay, and then I sort of got to the point where I realised I was losing what I, what I set out to achieve and losing myself within all the stuff, all the products. So I wanted to strip back to basics. I wanted to go back to just the paint, just the stencils, because at the time I did use stencils a lot, a lot and I still do. Um, but I just wanted to go back to basics. I wanted to find myself and find my purpose for the business again. Um, so I got rid of all the extras and as part of that, I got rid of the transfers. Since then, I have stocked another brand as well um, that, again, they just weren't gelling with me in the business that well, so I decided to get rid of those. But since opening the store, just about every person that walks in here asks if I've got them, and the amount of messages I ask, I get asking whether or not I'm going to get them back, um, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so I am bound to peer pressure. And I've got them. So I'm about to show you how easy they are to use. They're super, super simple. But I thought I would quickly show you the designs that we've got so far. So there's 
two formats for transfers. You can get the really big ones. Uh, they normally come in tubes. I know some brands have now got like big, I think they're like A3 size, like booklets like these. Um, they're great. They, they are more expensive. Um, and they also take up a lot of room on my shelf. So I've decided for now, I'm not going to be getting the really, really big ones. There's heaps of stockists in Australia that have them. Um, and I encourage you to shop through them. But for now, I'm sticking with the little ones. I really like cute little elements. In the past, when I have used transfers, and if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I only use transfers, I only stock products, rather, that I use and that I love. Okay, so I love these products. Um, but when I've used them in the past, I think maybe once I've used an entire transfer. The rest of the time, I like to use little elements. So that's why I've got these. And I think even on a big piece, these could be incorporated, which, and this is a larger piece, so I think it works quite well. So, first off, I forgot to write down the sizes in centimeters, but these ones are eight and a half by 11 centimeters. This one's called Bloom. And it's got, I'm going to turn it on its side so you can see them. This one's four sheets. And, hang on, I'm too far away from the price tag to read it. These two are $29.99. So four sheets, and it comes with a little paddle pop stick as well. Let me move that. So super pretty, really nice elements. Like, they're really good size. There's my hand for comparison. So they're about the size of my hand. So these you could, look, you could just stick the whole sheet down if you wanted to, but they're designed to be cut out and positioned however you like. So every single person that uses these is going to use them in a different way. So every design is going to be unique by the end of it. So that's that one. Yeah, this one doesn't have the name written on it. It is on my website. I don't remember what it's called. I had to keep looking when I was adding them to the website. So this one's $29.99 as well. Let me just get that stick out of the road. There we go. How pretty is that? So I really like, they're not watercolor, but I like the softness of this design, these two designs. They're really, really nice. And I'll show you how to use these in a minute. So super pretty, pretty. So you can purchase these in store and on my website and you'll find the links in the description. Okay. And then we've got, so those are part of this special range. Then we've got these ones I'm pretty sure are brand new, like they've just launched them, but I could be wrong. First off, we've got artisanal, artisanal? I don't know, I can't pronounce it. Tile. Look at the color in that, isn't it beautiful? So these ones are three pages and they are six by 12 inches. Oops, my finger's covering it. How pretty are those colors? I'm actually going to be using this one, I think. I've got a friend who's given me a couple of pieces to do for her, just some little decor pieces. So I'm going to be doing this for her. I think I'll use this one because she's very into the boho sort of thing. So these ones are all, these three piece ones, these are all 20, $26.99. All right, next one, Garden Marbles. Nicola, if you're still there, this is the one that you brought, I'm pretty sure. And there's the designs. So again, six by 12 inches. Oops, am I on camera? There we go. All right, this one's Morning Peonies. How beautiful is that flower? I'm pretty keen to use this one too. I'm not... I'm not a huge flowery person, but I do like things like this, just little elements every now and then I do like to use. Uh, what's the name? This one's Rare Birds. I love this one. I've got a thing for birds. I really, really like them. And I think these are really pretty. Oops, it's on its side, but there we go. That one. And I like the colours of all of them. Now, this one was a request from my son, but this is called Under Construction. And I don't think I've ever seen any, any ones like this before, actually. I know when I stocked them previously, they didn't have anything like this. So there's trucks, there's the fire truck, which I really like. 
Um, there's the diggers, the dump truck. How cool are they? So I'm going to have to find something and do it for him, I think, because he's going to absolutely love that. Like my daughter will as well. She um, loves his cars and stuff. This one is, I keep looking on the back. This is watercolor lush. I, I really, really, really like the colors in this one. The, that yellow and the oranges. How pretty are they? And then I like that this one also has the bigger elements as well, including the small ones. Next, we've got white mag magnolia. Oops. So this one would look amazing on a colored background, but you could definitely put it over a white background if you wanted to. Um, you just need to be, if it's too matchy matchy, you're not gonna see the flowers. And then of course, sunflower after afternoon. And this is the one I've decided this is it. This is the one that we're using today. I love sunflowers. I've been wanting to use this one or any sort of sunflower transfer for ages. So this is what we're using today. And this piece, it's got two different designs already happening. So what's the third at this point? It's um, not going to, I don't think it's going to be on it. It's only a display piece. All right, so close that we're going to just pop it on the lid and I'll open it up and show you so they all come sealed and protected okay so okay so all of them come with a stick for you to apply them with and I'll show you that in a second I've also just grabbed Good old Miller's card, are they even still around? A Miller's card out of my purse as well. Sometimes I find the side of a credit card or similar is a little bit easier. Okay, so this is each sheet. How pretty is that? That's number one. But number two, which has got the stalk. And then number three. And I love this little grouping just here. We're definitely going to be using that today. Okay, so that's the three. So, transfers, the way they work is they are printed onto a sheet of plastic and then they have a sheet of paper behind them that protects them. So the ink, that bit just there, the white, that's sticky and that's what it is and then the white backing you peel off. Okay, super easy. Let me move you a little bit closer so you can see what, oh, not me, the suitcase please. Um, hang on, I'm just gonna make you a little bit taller. I want you to really be able to see what I'm doing. You don't really need to see me for this. I apologize, you're just getting a full tour of the studio where the camera waves around at us. I hate moving the camera when we're live, but sometimes it's necessary, so I do apologize. All right, here's our suitcase, all looking pretty. So our paint's been drying. Um, it's about nine o'clock. No, it's about 9.30 now. Um, and I applied this 9.30 in the morning. I applied this, when did I finish it? About two o'clock yesterday afternoon, two, three o'clock. Um, so it's been drying overnight. You do wanna make sure your paint is fully dry, otherwise you're gonna have issues with your transfer and adhering. Um, but overnight is more than sufficient. So, or put a lot of heat on it. I know that some do do that. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use the stalk is not really. I don't think I'm going to use the stalk, but I do know that I want to use this one. So grab yourself a good pair of scissors. And all you're going to do, you want to cut it before you start peeling the back off. Okay, because you don't want to touch that sticky side. That sticky side needs to go straight onto your piece. So cut around it first. Super simple, and these can be applied. I'm just gonna cut that way, and then cut that little flower out as well. Um, these can be 
applied over mineral paints as well. So over Pure Eco Silk Finish as well. Um, not just over chalk paints. And I'm pretty sure they can be applied over milk paints too. Have I applied them over milk paint before? I have, yes, so they can. Always test a little bit first too. If you're going in with like one of the big designs, test first, make sure that you know what you're doing. But, um, and I like these ones because they're good little practice for when you lead up to the bigger ones. Okay, so here's our little element all chopped out. So the plastic on the top peels off, so it's not going to be shiny when it's done. Okay, and I sort of like to lay them out a little bit first. I've got this other big one, which I'm going to put up in this other corner, I think. Or maybe I'll cluster them. You can cut through the designs as well if you feel the need, and you can layer them over the top of each other as well. So if I wanted to, say, put that flower over the top of that, I could. Um, so I've got that there. I think I might do a little... Actually, I might use that stalk. Otherwise, what am I going to use a stalk for? <laughs> I might run the stalk. I might run the stalk up the very front of the suitcase. I don't know if you could see that then, but I was just sort of looking at whether or not I could do that. Actually, I will because... I want to show you how it goes over a bumpier surface. So, I'm just sort of, normally I'd just speed through all this if I was just filming, but I do want to show you the whole sheets as well and sort of the whole process start to finish. So I apologize, it's probably a little bit boring, but stick with me because it gets fun in a second. I find, look, sometimes I just wing it and go for it, but other times I do like to um, cut out the elements first and lay them out. It depends what I'm doing, but I think showing how to lay them out is a good start as well. And you can lay them out however you like as well, so go with the piece. Okay, so I've got the stalk and I'm gonna run, can you see that? I'm just gonna run it up the front because that fits really comfortably in there actually. I'm gonna run that up the front. I'm gonna pop this one over here. You could tape them in place as well if you wanted to. And then I've got, no, I don't like those. I think I'm just gonna add this big one on top of it. Okay, so we're gonna start these and then we'll go from there. I'm probably going to use most of this transfer Actually, I might leave a few small elements aside and then when people come into the studio, you can have a little play as well and see how it's done. Okay. Pop those out of the road, pop all the extra out of the road. Don't lose all your bits. Keep your plastic packaging because then you can pop them in there. Might as well reuse what you've got. I'm going to layer it over the stalk, but I'm sort of going to do it so it joins up a little bit and I think we'll, I don't know, we'll work it out. <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's do this one because I want to I put one down and I want to show you how to do it. Let me get rid of those notifications. Okay, so you're going to peel it. I'm shocking at peeling things. There we go. All right, so you're going to peel it off. You can do sections at a time if you like. I'm just going to peel the whole backing. You're going to very carefully make sure that you're holding the clear bit, don't touch that bit. And you're carefully going to pop it down. Now you don't wanna let it touch until you're actually, let me show you back around. I'm, I was trying to work out why it was showing my face then. There we go. You wanna see the suitcase, right. So you carefully wanna position it, but just sort of hold it loosely above don't let it touch your surface until you're ready um, because once it touches, it's going to stick straight away and you can't peel it back up, okay? So carefully sort of get it in. I don't mind if it goes over that little bit. That a little bit. We go about there. So once you're done, you got to commit, okay? And just sort of wipe it out. Go from the inside out. That way you won't end up with air bubbles. 
The smaller ones, you're less likely to end up with an air bubble. The large ones, you will, but always go from the center out. Then you're gonna take your stick and you just gently center out. Be mindful of your paint. You don't wanna be rubbing your stick over the paint because you will take it off. And this edge, because I've got that little bit of raised bits, I'm sort of doing up to it and then running it over. You may end up with a little bit of cracking in the design for bits like that, but don't worry about it. It's part of the charm. If you like, and if the cracking's too much, or if you want to add further to it, you can absolutely mix some colors and do some hand painting over it as well. And then you're just gently going to peel it back. Is anything going to show me that's not stuck? No, it's all going to be stuck. Right, I was hoping it would show me what it would look like. We'll show you what it would look like then. Then I like to just use the same bit of plastic. And you sort of just want to burnish over it a little bit. And just make sure, particularly around all those edges, that it's well stuck down. Okay. That's really, really pretty. So just running my fingers over it. So I'm going to bring, I apologize, I'm going to take you off the stand for a second and hope that I don't turn the phone off. Right, I want to bring you in. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me see if I can turn it. Right, here we go. Right, this is our design. So I know some people, excuse my fingers, they're shocking at the moment. Um, there's like a tiny little shadow line. I know some people don't like that. If you want to get rid of that, you can see it up here. They're very, very minimal. Um, you can come in with a very fine grade piece of sandpaper and lightly sand them. Just go easy over your design otherwise. And this is quite a textured surface, the suitcase. So if I went too harsh, I would see every single line of the suitcase coming through the transfer. But if you do want to just burnish it a little bit more and hide some of those lines, Look, over a white, you're not going to see them as much. Over a dark colour, you might see them. But you can go in with a really fine grade sandpaper. So how pretty is that? All right, let's turn you back around and get you back up in here. I apologise. I'm moving the camera. Oh, hang on. What have I done? Okay. Right. So how pretty is that? I love, love, love it already. Okay. Get rid of your excess, you don't want that. I work with a messy area, as you can see. I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the stem on next, I think. And then I'm gonna put the stem on and then I'm gonna position my next large flower. So I'm going to, I'll move the camera, but I'm just going to move this as well. So you can, oops, that's me. See what I'm doing, actually. I've got a better idea. Let me tip the suitcase up because I think the camera's high enough anyway that it's not going to matter. Let me move those because otherwise I'll lose them all. And that one. Okay. Let's tip it up so I can show you what we're doing. Can you see that? Oh, yes, you can. Now, I haven't painted underneath yet because I was waiting for the paint to dry, but I will come back to the underneath tomorrow. I'm just going to see if I can, there we go, lock that a little bit. Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna go up the center here, up and over. I'm just gonna roll it just so it's just underneath the edge of the suitcase. And I wanna position the flowers in there. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. I'll show you the other method this time. So sort of, you can take your paper, you can either fold it or cut it. I'm just gonna fold it to begin with. It's not going to stick to your paper, okay? So don't worry about that. And we're gonna do that. I'm gonna start here. And then once you've got the first bit stuck, you 
gently, just sort of use your fingers. You can use the stick if you like. Oops. Up and over. So I'm just gonna rub that top, oops, that top edge. Just to make it a little bit easier for me. All right, that's the top edge done. Now we do the leaves. Does anyone have any questions? I can see your comments today, so I can um, answer them if you've got them. Okay, so from the bottom, there we go, that's showing me what I wanted to show you. See how some of it's lifted up? I don't know how well you can see that. Can you see that? So just very carefully lay it back down and rub over for that section again. And then when you do it again, see how there's nothing on it now? Sometimes it just needs a little bit of extra help or you haven't haven't quite gotten it enough. So just go slowly when you peel. You don't want to just rip it off um, because if you do have a spot like that that hasn't stuck, you're just going to mess up your design and it can be really hard to get it to line back up again. There we go. There's our leaf. So that's looking really nice. Let me just grab my big sheet. This is just the one left over from before. Over the top. Okay, so while we've got it up like this, I'm just thinking we might add, uh, no, none of those. No, I don't like that one. Nope, hang on. I might add one of these leftovers, actually, I might add one of these ones. So I've got this, these, oops, which one? That one there. So I'm gonna add it down here at the bottom, just to sort of add something to the front as well, rather than just the leaves. So I can either try and match it up a little bit, which a sunflower, they're always at the top of the stem, so that would look weird. So I'm actually gonna chop off this little bit of stalk. I'm just gonna have it sort of sitting there like it's lying on the ground. Gotta have a story to these things. <laughs> Gotta have a reason for it. Well, that's what I'm telling myself. So I've just chopped off that, oops, where's the camera? I've lost the camera now. But I've just chopped off the stalk. You can generally cut these quite close. So again, this time I'm just gonna peel it straight off. It's only a small piece. And I'm just going to No, I'm gonna put it on this side. The bigger leaf's on that side, so I sort of just wanna balance it a little bit and I'm gonna layer it as well. There it goes, because I let it touch. So once it's touched, you've got to leave it. Just like that. Oops. Now. There we go. And just using this again, using the same sheet, just gonna burnish it a little bit, make sure it's all stuck down on those edges. This one's got a lot of edges, so I just wanna make doubly sure that it's all down. So there's our flower. I might add something else to that later, but let's go back to the top. And let me just, I forgot my watch yet again today. So let's finish this. So I know every time I forget my watch the last few days, I've gotten so carried away with the time. 
All right, let's do these two big ones. So I've got this one for the end of the stalk. And then I've got this big, big, big one too, which I'm feeling like needs to be that way around. And I want to bring it up and over. So I think we might, we're going to put the big one down first and then we're going to do the small one. So again, peeling the back of it. Holding the corners, don't hold the ink, otherwise it will stick to your fingers. And getting it into position like that. So rubbing from the outside in. And carefully, I'm going to do this bit here. along that detail and then carefully bring it up and over. It's very uneven, this bit, so there are going to be a few cracks in it, which is fine. And then carefully bring it up and over the sides as well. There we go, they're all released. Get this bit over here. Just like that, still not quite there. So carefully peel it off. It's just the very tips of this one don't quite want to stick. So I'm just gonna go all the way around the edges again and make sure that they all do. And carefully peeling it up. Really careful. Make sure all all the tips of grab. You don't just want to rip it off. Go slow and keep using that one. It's a good size. I'm just going to burnish those edges a little bit. And this is just helping make sure they have all stuck down. Just want to order the magnolia transfer absolutely it's up on the website now Karen and I've got three in stock all right beautiful let's come in with was it this flower no that flower there I've already got it right I'm just gonna stick this here so again it's not a huge one so I'll just peel off the whole element and I'm just wanting it to sort of go, where are we? I'm just sort of going to go just over the top edge, like so. So, outside in. See how easy these are? And you can just piece the design together however you like. And I think that's why I like these ones more than the really big ones as well. The big ones are often already set out. The designs are set out. You can chop and change them a bit, but they're a lot more limited. Whereas these, you can really do whatever you like. And they're much easier to, they're designed to be used like this. So I do like this. It adds a bit more of a creative element to it. And everyone's is going to be a little bit different as well, which I like. The big ones often sort of feel like it's a bit same same because everyone's looks the same. So I like having the little elements there. I'm just going to cut the big sheet. Beautiful. All right. Now I've got some. This is what we've got left. Let me grab them all so you can see what we've got. We've got some little flowers. We've got like an acorn thing, I think. Leaves and some more leaves. So we've still got about half a transfer left. We've used the biggest elements of the transfer so far, but we've still got plenty of options left. So I can either add more here or I can bring some up the top. Actually, I'm thinking I wanna bring some I don't know. Bringing some more in. I might bring that one in there actually, just out of this clasp. So again, just chopping it, 
cutting it out, chopping it out. <laughs> that was really good English. Well done. Okay, so another little element. Peeling it off. And I'm gonna bring it out of this. And this one I do really want to layer up onto my sunflower a little bit more than before. I kind of wish it was facing the other way, but we'll go this way. So just keep going until you've got it. Right, there we go, there's another one. Um, let's add, I'm really wanting to use these berries. Oh, they look like berries. Okay. Cut that one out. Hmm, where do I want to put it? I don't know. The pro <laughs> this is my brain. I don't want to put it off the stalk because a sunflower wouldn't have berries growing off the stalk. Well, I'm pretty sure they don't. So this is my brain thinking, mm, that's not going to look right. So I'm just trying to work out where I want to put it. I'm going to leave this over the edge as well. This is how my brain works. It's quite odd at times. I overthink things a lot. So I'm going to pop it out. I'm going to come out from that clasp as well. like that and then I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to leave the rest of the elements and then as our lovely locals come in for the next few days you can pop one on and have a go for yourself and we will finish this suitcase together but I'm super happy with it so as you can see we've still got half the transfer left I also have to run to the post office, so I do have to go. But we've still got half transfer left. We've got some absolute beautiful elements happening at the moment. Um, I'm loving this one over here. I just keep looking at it. I really, really, really like it. But it's looking so pretty. And with these, you just keep chopping and you change them and you move them. Once they are stuck on, you can't move them. They're there and they take a they take a fair bit to get back off. So once they're there, they're there. Um, if you paint over them, you will often see the shadow as well. So just keep that in mind if you decide that you don't like it and paint over it, you'll still see the shadow um, because it is like, it's like, it's not a metal, but it's still height um, added on top of your paint. But that's it for today. I just wanted to quickly show you, well, somewhat quickly show you how easy they are to apply and um yeah that's our transfer so there's i think there's 12 designs that i've got in stock um they're all up on the website i've got three of each unless a couple of already stole us uh, um have already sold but there's plenty to choose from and i've tried to pick something so that everybody sort of got a design that you can use and they can really go on to any color as well so plenty of options have a absolute wonderful Saturday. For our locals, we are open today and tomorrow, 10 to 1 uh, at 37 High Street, Eagle Hawk. And for everyone else, we are online. Have a fabulous day, guys. Bye.